Hello, everybody. This is Tam here once again with my Chucky the Killer DVD collection for the well, final time. Well, at least until Curse comes out, but that one to be out to buy that fucker single, of course, because well, I know they're coming out with a new box set around that time, but it doesn't come with any other extra features. So fuck that shit. I just stick with a single. I'm not that big a fan of better picture quality. If I can see it, it's good enough for me. But anyway, <laughs> so just jump right in uh, to round my review up for this series. First movie I think is great. It's a four star film out of four. The second film I think it's a uh, it's a it's a good it's a good movie. It's a three star film out of four. Uh, but it's like an average sequel. It's all the regular sequel beats that you would expect. There's nothing really magnificent about it except for the ending, the final, which brings it up. But I still enjoy it. It's a good movie. Uh, the third film it feels like Ben Nard done that same shit, but it adds up to be a decent movie because the final of it, the car, uh, the carnival, while not as good as the second one, is at least enjoyable, and Chucky is still the, uh, uh killer, uh, mean motherfucker that he was in the first two, uh, and as for the fourth one, I feel like it's a fresh take on the series that helped revamp it in a good way, besides the Scream ripoff jokes and stuff that it has in it with the meta shit that it overdoes, it reminds me too much of Scream, but, uh, for the most part, I think Tiffany was a good addition, and the film carries itself rather well, making it the second best film in the series, and a good fresh take on the franchise, I'd give it 4 out of 4. And now on the Seed of Chucky, uh, <laughs> the final film, Till Curse comes out, that I'm going to review. Uh, after these films, I will, be, I will be reviewing the Texas Chainsaw Massacre films, so if you enjoy watching these reviews, look forward to those. But let's jump right into this shit sandwich. I knew going into this film that it was going to suck. I remember enough about it from the last time I saw it to know that this film was going to be an utter piece of shit. But... I liked it better this time because going into it, I wasn't as disappointed because I knew it was a comedy and not a serious uh, film. So I didn't expect any, like, I didn't expect, uh, when I watched it the first time, I expected it to be more along the lines of Bride to be a horror comedy, but still have the horror, the seriousness there. But this is just a straight up comedy. This is more like a comedy Hollywood satire than just a Chucky film. As a matter of fact, it probably should be called Seed of Jennifer Tilly or Seed of Tiffany because Chucky is barely in this fuckfest. Uh, but this is definitely a comedy. The human characters in this film, the protagonists, but the protagonists are really the dolls because this is pretty much their movie, or at least Jennifer Tilly's movie. Uh, but the humans in the film, uh, Jennifer Tilly, Red Man, uh, you don't give a fuck about them. They're about as memorable as pile of dog shit, but anyway. Jumping straight into this movie, it's a couple years after uh, the last one. Uh, I don't know how many. They're they're doing like a movie within a movie thing here, kind of like Wes Craven's New Nightmare, except not as clever. <laughs> And they got Jennifer Tilly playing, uh, playing Tiffany, which is like, uh, fourth wall breakage bullshit. But anyway, jumping straight into the story, it's I don't know how long after Bride, um, uh, Chucky's son is older now. He's named, Chucky names him Glenn. Why, I don't know. Uh, he's, uh, he's, uh, being held captive by a, uh, fucking ventriloquist who calls him Shitface. And he's abusive, uh, to him, and he has nightmares, which one scene I actually enjoyed, he has a nightmare that's kind of done like it was a tribute to Halloween or home and jumping, and that's one of the only things I enjoyed in this fuckfest, and, uh, but he's another stupid shit is he pisses himself all the time, and I'm like, eh, hey, what the fuck ever, this is dumber than donkey shit, but anyway, jumping into the film here, he, he has a made in Japan on his arm, even though I'm pretty sure these dolls were made in the U.S., but whatever, he sees Chucky and Tiffany on Access Hollywood, <laughs> Uh, talking about their new film, a uh, film within a film, and so he sees Made Japan on the arms, and he thinks obviously that must be his parents because no other people in this play in this universe could be from Japan, but our dolls or whatever, what the fuck, ever. <laughs> so he escapes, uh, sends himself to Hollywood, mails himself or whatever. Um, he gets there. Chucky and Tiffany are there. The dolls are there, and they're movie props, so they're not even the original dolls. So for some reason, Glenn still has the fucking amulet from Bride of Chucky. Why I don't know. Uh, he brings them back to life, but they come back to life in uh, movie the replica dolls somehow. I don't get that. That fucks up continuity. But whatever. <laughs> this film does a lot of that. They come back to life. You get stupid ass comedy that's nowhere near as intelligent as in Bride of Chucky. There was some stupid comedy in that one. This one amps that shit up to the eleventh degree and amps up the meta comedy and references to an eleventh degree. <laughs> uh, you can get a fucking scene of Chucky masturbating later in the movie, which I actually thought was funny because if you're gonna make it into a goofy over the top comedy, you might as well just go all out and just say fuck it and just have at it. If you're gonna run with this kind of style, you might as well do it. You know, to the tenth degree, as long as you don't have like a fucking dinosaur show up or something like that, and just completely <laughs> fucking go overboard with it. But anyway, 
Um, so yeah, like I said, the Chucky masturbating to Fangoria scene I actually thought was funny. But back to the plot of the shit sandwich here. Um, so Jennifer Tilly is playing Tiffany in the movie. Chucky and uh, Tiffany are back to life. They're uh, perfectly happy with each other, which is weird because Tiffany stabbed him in the last movie. So you figured he would just kill her again, but whatever. <laughs> For some reason they're just okay with everything. I guess they got amnesia or something. I don't know. Or Alzheimer's, whatever. But they're perfectly fine with everything. Get a decent death scene where they uh, cut the head off of uh, the uh, special effects artist of the film, which is actually the real special effects artist of the film. And I'll be honest, the dolls don't look anywhere near as good in this film because they're done by Tony Gardner and not Kevin Neary like the first four. And Chuck even looks CGI in some shots, which I don't like. And uh, <laughs> cap it all off. Well, they slice his head off with a wire. It's a pretty decent death scene. But then you get Glenn pissing his pants, which I don't like again. <laughs> Ruins the mood of the death scene. Okay, you skip a little bit later. Uh, Tiffany, the well, Jennifer Tilly shows up. She fucking kisses the head, thinking it's a prop. Stupid shit comedy. Later on, the police show up. The coroners are packing his body away. Another the coroner comes up behind him and says, Hey, you forgot the head. More stupid shit comedy I don't like. The comedy in this film is not intelligent at all compared to the comedy in the last film. <laughs> so they fucking hitch a ride in Jennifer Tilly's limousine, go to her house, and Jennifer Tilly's character in this film, I know she's doing a parody of herself. Uh, she's got some balls making fun of herself a lot. I appreciate that, but I still don't give a fuck about her character because her character's a, a dick, basically. And I, I would root for her. Maybe I would enjoy her a little bit more if the rest of the film was up to snuff, but it's really not. I don't really give a fuck about any of the human characters in this movie at all. You got John Waters playing a slimy photographer in the movie. He does fine. I like John Waters, but once again, I don't give a fuck about him in this movie. You got this guy who's like Jennifer Tilly's limo driver who has a crush on her, and that's as much as he amounts to. I'll just call him limo guy because that's about as much as he's worth in this shit sandwich. <laughs> but anyway, so after that, uh, uh, Tiffany doesn't want to kill anymore. She takes like a 12 step program because she wants to set a good example for her kid because he doesn't want to kill either. He doesn't want to be a killer, which I kind of like that. Made the doll, the little Glenn, more sympathetic than any of the humans and made him much more interesting. It'd have been kind of cliche to just go for him being a killer too, but <laughs> he pretty much looked like a killer and a bride. But I guess they just fucked that, uh, fucked that out of continuity too. But anyway, so. Uh, Tiffany's doing like a 12 step program this even parodies the franchise its own franchise even more than the last one she calls up uh, the wife of the uh, cop she killed in the last movie which I thought was kind of funny where she's trying to like make amends that's some funny shit there um, uh, so uh, Chucky takes Glenn out and uh, well no no uh, they want to impregnate Jennifer Tilly so they can pass Glenn's body into a fucking baby and so they get Chucky masturbating I told you about that scene it's kind of funny uh, John Waters is there taking pictures of everything. They knock Jennifer Tilly out. No, well, they knock Red Man out. Uh, Chucky walks up his sperm in a cup. Like, hey, whatever. Uh, they want to fucking pass his soul into the baby that she's going to have. They want to impregnate her. <laughs> uh, then Chucky sees John Waters take off with the pictures that he got. So they impregnate Jen uh, Tiffany impregnates Jennifer Tilly. Uh, Chucky and Lynn take off after John Waters. They take off in a Hummer, which is kind of funny, except for when Chucky kills Britney Spears, which I would think was funny, but then he says, whoops, I did it again, which makes me almost want to hate this fucking movie with a passion. <laughs> and then they make it to John Waters, and what's one of the only decent scenes in the film? It's an okay death scene. Glenn tries to warn him that Chucky's going to kill him. Instead, he scares him so bad he falls backwards and hits a shelf, and some acid falls on his head and fucking melts half his face off. I like that scene. The special effects were decent. Uh, this film does feel lower budget than the last one, though. Because the dolls don't look as good, and sometimes they look CGI, which I, like I said before, I fucking hate. But anyway, so uh, Chucky thinks he did it on purpose, thinks he's going to be a natural uh, born killer, takes a family snapshot of it. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Uh, so basically, back at uh, home, Jennifer Tilly is pregnant. Uh, they make a reference to Martha Stewart again. I thought that was kind of uh, kind of funny, a little bit. Uh, Jennifer Tilly wakes up. She's pregnant. Uh, you got Red Man in the movie. She's wanting to be, uh, well, she's wanting to act with Red Man <laughs> in a movie of uh, the Virgin Mary. Like, ha ha, Jennifer Tilly playing a virgin. What the fuck ever. Amazing. Uh, they make some jokes about Julia Roberts sleeping with directors to get jobs in the film. I thought that was mildly funny. Uh, Tiffany thinks Red Man's an asshole. She kills uh, Red Man by cutting his guts out. His intestines fall out, which is a pretty cool death scene. But you don't give a fuck because you don't give a shit about Red Man. At least I didn't. Uh, Glenn sees it, and every time he sees somebody die, he kind of flips out and starts twitching, which is better than him pissing his pants, I guess. Um, so basically after that, uh, that's when, uh, well, that's when Jennifer Tilly wakes up. She, she got a big old fucking belly, whatever, she's pregnant. She's talking to Hannah Sparrow on the phone, who's her agent. 
Uh, Chucky puts a pillowcase over her head and knocks her out. Uh, after that, they uh, try to uh, fucking Hannah Spirit. Uh, no, no, wait. Uh, they, uh, Chucky finds out Red Man's dead. Uh, they call up the limo, the limo guy. He shows up there. They just tie him up. He amounts to Jack Diddley shit. Um, <laughs> Hannah Spirit shows up. I think Tiffany kills her by setting her on fire, and she falls off the balcony, hits the marble floor. It looks marble anyway. Pretty decent death, but then you find out it's Glenn. I guess it's kind of a reference to Psycho, which I do enjoy. This movie has some decent like, old horror movie homages or references that I do enjoy. It has a little bit going for it when I accept it. It's just a fuck-fest comedy. But anyway, <clears throat> I'm finding out it's Glenn, and then uh, Tiffany walks in and slaps the shit out of him. He has like a moment where he cries and wonders what he is. I actually kind of like that. It shows some humanity in the character. A lot more than humans in this film have. Uh, <laughs> Chucky's got to do the chant, but then he, I kind of like this. He actually finally decides he's had enough of this shit and just wants to be a doll. I actually prefer that. That's a lot better. I mean, that's, that's a lot better than just being a human. I mean, just trying to be human over and over. He just finally decides he wants to be a doll and says, fuck this shit. I've had enough. Tiffany doesn't like that. He doesn't want to be Tiffany's chauffeur or limo driver. Um, <laughs> she, Tiffany wants to be a celebrity, Chucky, uh, Chucky says fuck this, yeah, like I said, he wants to be a doll, which I like that, adds more to the character, Tiffany gets uh, mad and says she's getting the fuck out of Dodge, taking <laughs> Glenn with her, Chucky picks up a knife, he's gonna sling it at her and kill her, but the fucking stupid ass limo driver gets in the way or something like that for some reason, he gets stabbed and dies, no one gives a shit, uh, Tiffany grabs the blade, hits Chucky with it, the police show up, Chucky gets out of this fuck fest, uh, Tiffany and Glenn get out of this fuck fest, oh, and, uh, before I forget, uh, Jennifer Tilly has two babies, for some reason, uh, the Glenn doll has, uh, two souls in him instead of one, and somehow it's gonna split up into both babies, the murderous side and the good side, I don't get that, whatever the fuck, uh, I don't give a shit, <laughs> so they're at the hospital, uh, Tiffany's at the hospital. I mean, Jennifer Tilly's at the hospital. Well, Tiffany's there too, and so is Glenn. They come there to finish the soul transference. Uh, then Chucky shows up, acts into the door, which is a reference to The Shining, which I actually kind of enjoyed. He says, fuck it, I can't think of nothing to say, which I thought was kind of funny. He makes an end, kills Tiffany, or you think he has killed Tiffany. <laughs> then him and Glenn have some kind of stupid ass fight, or Glenn does a karate kick, which I thought was mildly funny. Then he does a shitty ass flip. Chucky's death, I like in this film, how he gets chopped into pieces again, more like the first three, but he still dies like a bitch, because this, this is the worst death he's had in the whole franchise, because it's just such a joke. This just ends the characters on a joke, this film does. That's why I'm glad there's another one coming out. <laughs> so, uh, Glenn chops him into pieces after a shitty ass flip. Uh, well, one of the funny things I do like is Chucky's congratulating him on killing him, which I thought was good, but Chucky dies so fucking quick, it's like another bitch death, except worse, because it's in a fight. A quick one at that. And then so after that, you think uh, Jennifer. It's five years later. Uh, uh, fucking, you think it's Jennifer Tilly, but it's really Tiffany. Actually, succeeded in possessing her body, and she kills the nanny or the babysitter or whatever the fuck. Uh, I don't know how. She, I actually like that the one of the dolls finally got into a human body, but I don't know how they did it because I thought I'm pretty certain we fucking saw the Tiffany doll die. But whatever. I guess it's a last minute transfer. <laughs> but um. So you see Glenn there, he's now in a human body, and then you see the other child called Glenda, which is like the murderous one. She's a girl with fucked up, uh, frizzy, uh, red hair, orange red hair, like Chucky had, which is kind of funny. But honestly, I don't, I, at this point, I just don't give a shit. There's nothing in this movie that can really make me love it. Uh, then uh, Glenn gets a birthday present there at his birthday party. It's his birthday party, and he gets an unmarked present with no name on it. Uh, he opens it up as Chucky's arm, just like a book cliche. The arm jumps up and grabs him by the throat. Cue in the movie. So the movie just ends on a joke. It ends the characters on a joke, which I just hate. If this film had, sm well, let me just uh, state this out there. If this film had smarter comedy along the first movie, and I would enjoy it. I mean, along the fourth movie, Bride of Chucky, I would enjoy it as a comedy. But it just doesn't. It's just one big fuck fest of a big orgasm of ideas. And it was directed by Don Mancini, who wrote all the other films. So I expected it to be <laughs> something not as out there as this, but whatever the homages of the film to other f horror films were fine with me but there were some stupid ones in there that weren't intelligent and there was a lot of stupid ass comedy in there that just wasn't funny like oops i did it again stupid shit like that makes me want to hate the movie with a passion <laughs> and you just end the movie on a joke and chucky's barely in this fucking movie like i said this might as well be seed of jennifer tilly or seed of tiffany because chucky's barely in the film tiffany jennifer tilly is in the limelight in this film this feels much like a love letter to jennifer tilly Fans of hers would be better off checking this out than Chucky fans. If you enjoy the Chucky franchise, I would say check this out if you're a fan. But if you're just a casual horror movie goer, don't even bother. 
because that's a horror comedy or just a comedy. This film sucks. There's much better horror comedies out there like fucking Return of the Living Dead, <laughs> which is a much better horror comedy than this one. And there's also much better Chucky movies out there like any of the first four. <laughs> but uh, if I had to, uh, well, having to judge this film from one to four stars, I'd give it two. Uh, I would give it one and a half like I did before. I mean, when I first watched the movie for the first time, when I was expecting something along the intelligence of Bride, or at least along that style, I mean. But now, it's knowing that it's a big fuck fest shit sandwich comedy watching it, uh, I can enjoy it a tad bit better to just give it a low two stars. I'd say rent this. That's about all it's worth. Do not spend money on this unless you're a fan like me who just wants to be a completist and have the whole set like I do. Who buys even the shittiest sequels. This movie kind of reminds me of Freddy's Dead with uh, being all that comedy like that, except not as good because Robert England is just <laughs> funnier as the Freddy character than Chucky is, even though I like Chucky too. Let me just say I enjoy this franchise, uh, but I hate this uh, this sequel. I hate it. Just to wrap this franchise up, first movie, horror and suspense, and it is great. Uh, Chucky's scary as fuck. I give four stars. The second movie, I give three. It's a good movie, but just the basic sequel up until the ending final, which brings it up. Uh, I'd give it a yeah, three, like I said. The f uh, third movie, I'd give it two and a half out of four, because by the end of the franchise, is pushing it and getting stale, and the story's just getting the same old shit and getting old by then. Uh, the fourth movie is a, a much fresher take on the franchise and brings it back up into the limelight. Adds new stuff to it, fucks with continuity, which I don't like, and gets in some shitty humor in there, which I don't like, and too many uh, screen type jokes and shit in it. But it adds in the Tiffany doll, which is entertaining and has the best resurrection scene for Chucky in all the films. Uh, so for that film, for what it is, I would give it four out of four. It's the second best film after the first one, and as for Cedar Chucky, like I said, if you go into it knowing it's just a clusterfuck comedy, you might be able to enjoy it to at least a rental of two stars. But other than that, if you just go in expecting something intelligent as Bride, or at least remotely as good as Bride, you're going to be entirely disappointed because this film sucks. Big ones. <laughs> and I have no idea why the writer of all the Chucky films would even go this direction with this film, but whatever. But to cap this off, uh, I'll see you guys again when I do the Texas Chainsaw Massacre reviews. And I just want to end this by saying that this film sucks ass. And I real, uh, it took all the power I had to uh, power through this son of a bitch when I was watching it. And this is definitely not one I look forward to watching again. But I just want to end it with saying I love the Chucky films. But I hate this one. And I look forward to seeing the new one. And I will do a review of it when it comes out. And I'll see you guys again with the Texas Chainsaw Massacre reviews. I love those films too. Well, at least the first one. And I, I like the second one a lot too. And I'll see you guys when I do those reviews. So peace out, everybody. And I'll see you guys again on the Texas Chainsaw Massacre.